This is Umar Ahmed for IFL CV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. With me, after a very long time, back on IFL is Mr. Matthew Macklin. Uh, a much needed break uh, from boxing, Matt, or have you missed it? A bit of both. You know, um, it was a nice break. I need to get back to it now. Uh, excited about the new season ahead. Well, yeah, we learned. Um, last week about Sky and what they're going to do. Obviously, four-year deals with top rank and Boxer. Um, let's start with a top rank deal. Obviously, we're going to get some of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters uh, coming on our television screens. We'd like to Terence Crawford, Inoue, Lomachenko, obviously our very own Josh Taylor as well. Uh, that's a fantastic uh, start for, for Sky to get top rank on board. Yeah, massively. I mean, look, people couldn't say that, look, it's on at three o'clock in the morning and who wants to stay up it doesn't do great ratings at that time but that's how it was when I was you know when I was coming through as a young boxing fan that's the way it was you knew if you wanted to see the big stars in America you, you, you were staying up and you were watching through the night that, so that for me that wasn't this isn't going to be anything you know new you know that was something that we we grew up uh, in boxing we just took it as a given that you'd, you'd stay up and watch the big fights um, you know, and like like always back in the day, they got repeated many, many times on the Sunday and even during the week after that, which I'm sure will be the case uh, moving forward with with, it, with these top rank cards. Um, the bottom line is we're getting some of the best stars in boxing, in world boxing, which will be fighting on Sky Sports. So that's a, that's a positive. Um, obviously, boxer on the UK end, which is you know the the. Uh, we're, we're, we're very, that's the thing we're predominantly, that's our main focus, let's say. Um, you know, it's an unknown entity. You know, it's an unknown entity. But, you know, 10 years ago, Eddie Hearn was an unknown entity. You know, so I think you have to give people, uh, you know, you have to come in and give people the the, the benefit of the, you know, the, everyone start, everyone's fresh. Everyone has to start somewhere. Mm. Um, and uh, look, at Sky, the bottom line is Sky is a, a huge platform. Um, that they very much seem to be really behind boxing, which I think a lot of people were not sure about, you know, with the, the matchroom deal kind of coming to an end, where were where was the appetite for the buses at Sky within boxing? But seemingly it's, uh, it's very, very strong and uh, they seem motivated. They seem very uh, committed and uh, everyone... At Sky, I think, has got really high hopes and expectations of, of uh, Boxer. Okay. Well, before we go more into the signings that Boxer made and, and how you think Sky are going to kind of get on, um, I'm sure during your break from boxing, you were still keeping up with uh, his own shows, uh, with Matram and, and BT shows with Frank Warren. So how do you see the, the landscape in the UK at the moment, and especially with the zone? how do you think they've done so far? Yeah, look, the bottom line, look, I'm a boxing man. I was, before I boxed professionally myself, I was, before I even started boxing amateur, I was a boxing fan and I've never, never, ever been anything other than a boxing fan. So for me, the more boxing on TV, the better, the better, more opportunities, the more exposure for all the fighters. Um, so I think that's healthy. It, it, it's a good thing. Um, yeah, the zone, I watched all the fight camp. Uh, I watched the fights on Saturday night, the Warrington Bill, you know, I, I watch BT and the Frank Warren shows as well. I, you know, I stay very much immersed in boxing and I stay across the board with it. So it's not just, I'm not just pigeonholed on Sky. I, I, you know, I watch the much wider landscape and always have done, you know, in America, wherever. I've always, it's, it's across the board for me. Um, I, th I think uh, there have been good shows. I think the fight camp, there were some good fights. I think uh, Saturday night was a bit of an anti-climax, but through no one's fault, these things happen in boxing. Heads came together. It was a nasty cut. It couldn't have gone on with that cut. So it was the right decision. Um, unfortunate. But it happens. You know, I thought Katie Taylor, you know, she, she, she boxed well, but I think she boxed an opponent that really came to survive. And it's very difficult to shine against people like that. That said, she won every single round and scored a knockdown. So... Good. And, and I think the same could be said for Nigel Ben. You know, it was a, a Nigel Ben, kind of Ben. He, um, same thing, really. He, he won pretty much every round. Um, the guy came to survive, really. I think he was happy just to, to go the, the rounds and, and, and put in an, an OK performance. So, again, you know, kind of Ben, he, you know, he blasted out Samuel Vargas in a round. This probably did him good to go those 10 rounds. You know, he's, he's climbing the rankings. He's getting the experience. And 
this is this is his education. He's 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 very much learning. We said this years ago, uh, several years ago now, when he was coming through, and people were kind of like, you know, comparing him and, you know, not really giving him his due credit, trying to compare him to guys who are the same age who would have like. 300 amateur fights. You can't do that. He'd, he'd, had, he'd had 30 fights in Australia. That kid was, you have, you, you've got to look at the raw materials. You've got to look, what has he got? You know, what, what kind of room, what potential has he got? And it, I always thought he had massive potential. We, you don't know how if he's going to fulfill it, but he certainly had the raw materials. You know, he had the things that you can't teach. He had loads of parts uh, and he had raw power. Those things, you, you can't teach those things to anybody. You can't put in what God left out. And, you know, those things he has. So it's good to see that he's, um, he's coming along nicely. And uh, I think it's important now that he's matched properly because it's, it's, it's easy to get ahead of yourself and get overly excited. Is he ready for the likes of the top 10? I, I, no, I don't think he is. But, you know, I think they're picking the right matches for him. He's getting the rounds. That he's, they're slowly stepping up the opposition. And he, he's getting better and better. So, you know, it'll be interesting to see where he is this time next year. Well, he's certainly developing into a star and one of the biggest names in, in British boxing is Conor Ben. And I kind of want to talk to you about that in terms of kind of building big names, building stars. We know Sky Sports have a, a huge platform in, in, the, uh, in the Sky Sports news kind of region where they can push things. Obviously, with the Premier League games as well, you can cross over to boxing and advertise like fight nights coming up on, on, on Sky. So... How important, I know you work for Sky, Matt, so you're going to have a bit of a biased opinion, but how important is that um, for, a, for a TV company to have that vehicle, such as Sky Sports News and, and the football promotion as well? Look, in boxing, look, we're immersed in boxing. We're hardcore boxing. You know, we, we, we get the boxing news every week. Do you know what I mean? We're in that probably, there's probably 10,000 of us in the UK, maybe 20, I don't know. It, 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 that's probably your, your hardcore, you know, Anthony Joshua Ruiz done like 1.6 million buys or something. Do you know what I mean? And that's probably five, four or five people in each house. You know what I mean? So that's how many people watch that fight. So boxing's niche, you know, week to week. But every now and you know, when it's done right and the, the right guys are built into the crossover stars, then it's massive. But you cross over by being on the likes of Sky Sports News regularly by being on billboards, by being on the radio sessions, it's, it's, you know, it takes time to build a star. You know, we were lucky in 2000, you know, 2012 really was, um, it was like a perfect storm. You know, Eddie was kind of, had just done his new deal with Sky. Um, you know, the London Olympics happened. There was a super heavyweight gold medalist in Anthony Joshua. Luke Campbell won the gold medal. You know, all of a sudden it was, you, you couldn't have dreamed a better launch pad and then Sky was so, he had an exclusive deal, Eddie did, and Sky really, really backed him. Barney Francis was the head of Sky Sports, and Barney was a boxing fan. So they, you know, they, re, they, they got together, they put their heads together, and they really committed to supporting boxing. So it was easy to build those stars. Now, listen, Eddie, could someone else have done, you know, some people could say, oh, Sky built those fighters, that exclusive platform with crossing over to the football fan. You know, listen, you, we live in the UK. You can't go into any pub, any deli, any cafe, any, uh, anything, and Sky Sports is on. You know, anywhere where there's a telly, Sky Sports news is getting repeated on the hour. So any storylines that are going out about, look, you know, boxing's great because there's life stories. You know, there's the narrative, the backstory. People buy into that, you know, almost as much as they want to watch the fight. You know what I mean? So boxers are quite, have always been good at, uh, with the media. They're not, like say footballers now are very kind of, in, you know, shut off and protected and you've got to go through so many people where boxers are very approachable. Uh, they know how to, they know it's important to do that. So that that was a big, that Sky Sports News, that Sky Machine, the advert it, it is important, played a big part. But Eddie was very charismatic. Eddie played the social media game, was put, calling fighters out putting it on people, making fights on Twitter. But no one was doing that at the time. So you you gotta give you gotta give him credit too. Now, look, go back 10 years again, Box Nation, Frank Warren made the move, grafted probably harder than ever, and you know, put on some really good bills. Mm. But do you know what? If, if, if you didn't buy the boxing news, you weren't in that hardcore 
uh, fan or you didn't already have Box Nation, if you were just a casual, you wouldn't have known that folk, those bills were on. I remember going to a few of Frank's cards and they were good cards. They were stacked cards. There was no one at them because how did he, how did he get it across to, to the non-boxing fan? It was the only people that were at the shows were that really small number of hardcore boxing fans and, and he put on some of the best shows you could have been at. You how know, do you think the zone will do that, Matt? Sorry to interrupt. How do you think the zone will, will manage to do that then? Well, 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 what I'm trying to get to is it. So, you know, that, that, that model, you could say that model didn't work. You know, I, I don't know. He, he, you know Frank got to be, he, he probably got into where he needed to be and he got to BC. So that was okay. But it was a hard time for him, really. It was hard to get people at the shows. So, you know, some people will say, well, look, the zone is only going to be the same, but with a bigger budget. So it's only it's the same thing, but on a bigger scale with a bigger budget. But so I think, mm, yeah, maybe. But also I think things have changed. Social media is a lot bigger now. You know, a lot of those fighters that Eddie has got have got a big social media presence. Um, I think the zone have got a lot more money. And I think they are going to put invest into a media campaign. We've seen some of the pictures about. Um, with some of the, uh, you know, the billboards and the things in Leicester Square. You know, they're, they're going for it a bit. So, look, I think, it's, I don't know is the answer, what, how, how it's going to work. Uh, it's interesting times. Eddie's got a lot of the fighters. He's the man that's been there for the last 10 years. The, the last sort of 10 years, if you wanted to, if you were the top fighter in Britain, then I suppose Eddie was your first, you know, first, um, first choice. You know, Frank was there as well. But I think now with... Um, you know, with the zone, it's 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 gonna be it's gonna be harder for him. I'm not gonna say impossible, it's definitely harder for him to build a star where on Sky it's easy to build a star because you've got every single football fan in the UK watching Sky Sports News on a regular basis. So if we you know Sky can sign a, a good talent mm -hmm. and they can keep him busy and they can push him on Sky, you know, it ain't gonna be long before he's a household name. Mm. Having said that about Sky's machine, which is the biggest sports platform in the UK, that's just a fact. Eddie has come on, on record to, to IFL and said that Sky still need a front man and that you can't replace me. In other words, he said on fight weeks, he used to do hours and hours of interviews on channels like ours and push the show, obviously go on Sky as well, pushing the show. Um, he's saying he can't be replacing Sky, need a front man. Do you agree with that, Matt? There's no doubt Eddie, Ed, listen, Ed, Eddie would sell you a car with no wheels, wouldn't they? There aren't there many better talkers than Eddie. He's, he's, you know, he's charismatic. He's got, you know, and, and he's a raving crafter. You know what I mean? There's no, you know, listen, Eddie, they say Eddie's born with a silver spoon, but he works like someone that's never been fed. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? You can't knock the man. He, he, you, can't, you can't take that away from him. Um, look, he's, he, he's very charismatic. He's a right grafter. He brought a lot to the table. No doubt whatsoever. But Sky is a huge platform. Um, does 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 there have to be a front man? Look, the bottom line is the boxers are the star of the show. You know, the fight it is what the fans want to watch. And you know, I think if if if, if Sky, um, you know, or sorry, boxer can can sign good talent and can make good matches, I think boxing fans will, will, will tune in and watch. And 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 if the fights. Um, are good fights and they're exciting and, and and there are good stories with these characters and they've got good good personalities and backstories. I think they can become stars. I don't think listen, Eddie, Eddie Hearn was probably the star of the show a lot of the time, where maybe the guy, this guy, the the new uh, boxer, Ben will be maybe take more of a backward seat and maybe he'll just push the fighters more and the fight or the event. It's it's I don't think there's a, I don't think there's one answer to that. I think, and, and none of us know. We'll just have to wait and see what happens. But it's, uh, I think it's exciting times. I think the next six to twelve months in boxing is going to be so interesting because, and none of no one knows for an abs, no one knows for certain what way things are going to play out and pan out because this is pretty much uncharted territory for a lot of us. Yeah, I think that's a very fair and honest answer. Just before we close off, let's talk about that talent uh, that we've got on Sky. Obviously, we know. Anthony Joshua um, stays on Sky and, it, and possibly will renew um, on his box office fight with Alexander Usyk. And that's an extremely good start. Then you've got a week later, one of the, the biggest names in British boxing, Chris Eubank Jr. headlining. Just let's talk about 
Eubank coming to Boxer and Sky. That's a brilliant signing, isn't it, Matt? Oh, massive. You know, Eubank's um, exciting. He's um, he's got a personality, whether you like him or you don't. He's got you, you know him, you, you know who he is, and you're going to watch his fight. He's got a personality. He's got uh, he's got the X factor. You know, he throws lots of punches. Um, look as well, the middleweight division I think could, could open up in the next twelve months. At the Golovkin, he's thirty nine years old. He's he's at the end of the he's at the end of the road now. A legend, one of the best middleweights, certainly the last the best middleweight probably in the last. I don't know, 20 years or so, maybe 10, 20 years, you know, Bernard Hopkins before him, obviously, you know, a, a great and a legend too, but certainly uh, Golovkin would be in that conversation of one of the best middleweights of all time. So, uh, but every dog has his day. I think Golovkin's at the end of the road now. So I think from Eubank Jr.'s point of view, timing's coming lovely for him. And uh, look, this first fight he's having is probably just to get him, get him out there again. But I think, you know, he, he, after that, They'll definitely look to step up the opposition and get him a world title shot. And, uh, you know, I, I think he's capable of winning one. And uh, Richard Riakpour is also on that card. Obviously, signed with Boxer and Sky as well. A very, very exciting cruiserweight he is. Massive puncher. He carries serious power. I, you know, I commentated, you know, on a lot of his fights. And sitting ringside, when you're that close to the action, you can feel the power, can't you? You hear the shots, you can feel it. It's different to being up in the crowd. Or watching on telly when you're sat ringside when, when there's a genuine uh you know one punch KO merchant in there and he he's one of those people he carries serious power I think we were at poor early on he had a lot of self-doubt I think it took him a while to get that self-belief and confidence but when he when he, I think he's getting there now and uh yeah listen he's getting better and better and uh, he he carries serious power no doubt absolutely Look forward to that October 2nd bill. And then moving on to Newcastle a couple of weeks later, uh, we know Savannah Mar Marshalls is signed to the platform and also Clarissa Shields. So that could be a, uh, a fight that's a little bit more easy to make now, Matt. Yeah, well, look, I, I, you know, for me, I did a thing today with, with Katie Taylor at Gymshark. And for me, she's the number one uh, superstar in women's boxing. But, um, you know, Clarissa Shields might argue that. And yeah. of course, Savannah Marshall beat Clarissa Shields. So there's, I think there's genuine needle between those two. There's, there's unfinished business. And the fact that both of them are signed to the Sky platform, you'd have to say it's a, you know, it's a fight that's definitely going to happen. And, and I think it's one of the best fights that can be made in, in women's boxing. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, also, of course, Fury Fury joins. Always good to get a heavyweight on board, a Fury on board. Um, and he goes against Christian Hammer, which is a, a decent first fight on Sky for him. Yeah, look, Kiri Fury, you, you've got to remember how old he is. And he, he was, he's been matched hard. Do you know what I mean? Like, he hasn't got, he ain't got a padded record, Kiri Fury. Do you know what I mean? He's gone into tough fight after tough fight where, you know, a lot of people might have swerved a lot of those fights, but, you know, he hasn't. He, he's gone in with them. So, yeah, he's had his losses, but I think he's learned a lot from them. And I, I don't think it's not his confidence or self belief, which is your biggest worry. You know, when you, you throw someone in a bit deep, is, you know, how are they going to come out of it? Is he going to, you know, is their confidence going to be shut after? But I don't think that's been the case. I think for Fury Fury, he's uh, he's learned from those losses. You know, this is he doesn't have a there's no inflated, um, superficial uh, perception of where he sees it. He is he knows where he is. He knows where he went wrong, and uh, he'll have, he'll have looked. At, he's, he's definitely gone back to the gym and and, and worked on areas and and, and he's uh, improving. And, and look, like you say, it's great to have a heavyweight on the platform. Definitely. And there's a host of other young top talents that have been signed uh, to Boxer as well. So we look forward to that. Matt, it's good to get, well, it's good to get Adam and Johnny back on the, on the channel. We complete the trio uh, with you today. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, it's always good to, to get you back. It feels like old times. Uh, and I'm sure we'll see each other on um, Joshua Usyk fight week. Yeah, definitely. Look forward to that. All right. Appreciate it, Matt. Take care. Speak soon. All right. Cheers.